This is session one, part one. But there were two main things that you uh, said that you would really like to emphasise with people of common pitfalls that people fall into when they hear the teachings of divine truth, they hear about everything. The first one was that people often forget that the divine love path is actually about developing a relationship with God. So who can relate to that, like kind of losing sight of that thing and going, oh, it's emotions, oh, it's spirits, oh, it's this, oh, I've got to, you know, stay the truth to be like, whoa, hang on, isn't this about God? And we can end up down like a side track. Yeah. Many of us have forgotten that, that it's about your relationship with God. It's not about you focusing on your emotions at all. You need to be connected emotionally in order to connect with God. But it's not about focusing on your emotions at all. It's not even about focusing on your desires, although it's great if you have a desire and you follow that with some passion, particularly if your primary desire is to have a relationship with God. Right? But it is, there are issues to do with becoming more loving, I agree. But it's not about focusing on becoming, becoming more loving. In other words, trying hard to be more loving. Right? The rea reality is if you focus on your relationship with God, you will automatically become more loving through that relationship, through that particular relationship that gets established. Right? And on the YouTube over the next few weeks, we'll be adding an interview that was done with Dane. Um, do you want to put your hand up, Dane? Do you, so that's, that's Dane there. Um, it was a lovely interview, by the way. I just really enjoyed very watching. Very inspiring, Dane. Very inspiring interview. And um, Dane was asked many things about his personal life and so forth, and he was very, very open and honest about all of his life. But one of the primary things that um, he realised in, in, and it comes through in the interview is this relationship with God focus on a relationship with God when you focus on a relationship with God all other things sort themselves out actually you actually have more drive and desire in your life you actually become more joyful not negative uh, when you fire on fo focus on this particular relationship many of us get influenced into focusing on everything else but our relationship with God and that's why many of us do finish up feeling sad at times or feel like we're being overwhelmed by emotion at times and so forth the reality is if you focus on that relationship everything will automatically come to you that you need in order to grow and it's very important to understand and when you consider a bunch of spirits with the awesome power and love of God you know who's going to win that little battle don't you a lot of times we're focusing on our relationships with spirits or allowing our relationships with spirits to dominate our life forgetting about God when really if we realigned our focus to this relationship with God a lot of the we perceived power we give to all these spirits would would disappear we would realize wow actually when I'm really connecting with God when I'm focusing on God these guys can't even have an impact on me mm. yeah they only have an impact when you walk away, really, from God. Remember the very first emotional injury that ever occurred on this planet? It was walking away from the Creator. Right? So the reality is every time we walk away from the Creator, we are just involved in that emotional injury again. And we need to focus on dealing with that emotional injury because without this relationship without the one with God, very little else can really occur in a loving way. You see, natural love fails under certain circumstances. Have you noticed that? People who are loving, who are normally loving when everything's going fine for them, turn into monsters sometimes when everything's not going fine. A person who has God's love in them doesn't change even if things are not going fine. They are still loving. That's a sign. You can't manufacture that place. You're not going to be able to try to do that. It will only come by you receiving divine love 
and that divine love will transform your ability to be able to live in situations that are harsh at times and still be loving. That's the beauty of it. So you, we don't have to try to be more loving. We need to have a stronger connection with God and receive more of that love from God. And as we do that, it will transform our ability to love. Natural love by itself, the love that normally comes out of your heart towards another person, can easily be manipulated by any addiction that you have. That's the reality. So if you have an addiction of one kind, let's say it's a sexual addiction or an emotional addiction of one kind or a, or a physical addiction to some kind of, you know, like alcohol, drugs or some kind of substance, food even, like whatever the addictions are, you can be manipulated through those if you're only reflecting on your own love. But once you have this relationship with God, there becomes a, a quality in that relationship called integrity that builds inside of you. And once integrity builds inside of you, you are unable to be hateful or hurtful or angry towards another person while that integrity remains within you. That's the beauty. That's partly how it transforms you. It gives you this ability to live in an environment that, that often is, is harsh but still be loving yourself without trying without trying and if we have to try that is just an indication that we have yet to receive divine love enough to no longer need to try that's all it's an indication of <laughs>